Water is a finite resource. Unlike oil, there is no substitute for it. By 2025, two-thirds of the world's population will face water shortages. Approximately 170 litres are required to produce one cubic metre of concrete. The largest concrete pour in the UK was 5,500 cubic metres in just 36 hours. That's 935,000 litres of water. Water is added to concrete at the batching plant before being transported to a construction project in a concrete truck. On site, the concrete is used to create the structure using a concrete pump or concrete skip. When the pour is complete, the equipment must be cleaned. As the pump line is cleaned, it releases several cubic metres of concrete. This concrete is often wasted. Using the concrete blowout attachment, the concrete in the line can be blown out into a concrete column skip and then reused. If this concrete is not required, the concrete can be used to create byproducts such as concrete blocks. Concrete skips are often washed into trays, where the concrete is left to harden, while wastewater is released on site. This wastewater is alkaline due to the presence of calcium hydroxide in the cement. Even small amounts of alkaline water released into the environment can be very harmful, polluting rivers and ruining ecosystems. The upper limit for discharge to a sewer is pH 10. Concrete wastewater often has a pH of between 11 and 13.6. Introducing the Conquip Concrete Washout System, it prevents harmful water being released into the environment. Concrete skips and trucks are washed out directly into a filtration tray. A filtration process starts as the washout water passes through the filtration bags. Heavy, insoluble aggregate remains in the bag while water passes through the porous material into a tray. The bags are lifted out and heavy aggregate waste is disposed of. In the first section of the tray, small sediment and aggregate sinks to the bottom and water flows over the weir into the second section. In the second section, remaining sediment sinks to the bottom while the water, free from particles, can flow through the holes into the third and final section of the tray. The alkaline water is pumped from the final section into a water storage tank. It can then be pumped into the truck and taken back to the plant to be reused in the next concrete mix. Alternatively, water can be used to clean concrete equipment or during the curing process if using a wet curing method. Start saving this finite resource and reduce your impact on the environment today.